Lars, that's a game of football, really tight, really competitive. That must be what you want in the B team. Exactly. Um, another good, another good game. Uh, we had a few in 2019. Went to Portugal and, and had three really tough games there. And fantastic, we can follow up at Griffin Park with a with a with a class uh, opposition like Malmo tonight. And obviously that first half was was quite. I suppose uneventful in the grand scheme of things. That second half really kicked off. What was the message at half time and what do you think of the boys' performance overall? Um, I'm proud of the boys because they did well. It was it was a really good a really good side when we we, uh, we met today. I think uh, we counted six or seven with with uh, European experience. So um, that was that was the challenge we really want. Um, first half, I think. We did well. We tried to keep the tempo up, um, stress them. They were not happy, not not being capable of playing out, uh, and stressed them through a lot of mistakes. Um, we kept them away from really big chances. I think they they got a, a quite uh, cheap pen as uh, as Simon uh, saved. Uh, but after that, um, we kept them away from really big chances. Uh, we were in and around there. Their box, but we didn't we didn't create the chances big enough. Second half, the, it was actually not the biggest messes in the half because we just adjusted a, a small things. We were quite happy with the first half. Um, one thing I noticed was we quite quick come back, come down three down down three nil down, and uh, I'm I'm really proud of the way we came back into the game. Scored twice and then another, a fourth goal against us, and then we come back again, and we were really close to equalise at the end of the game. It, it just showed character because we could it could have gone either way, um, but it showed we have a lot of characters in the team, and um, yeah, they uh, they pulled it, each other up, and 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 we made a really good game out out of it. A real mix of faces in there tonight as well, with Emiliano and Chidozzi in there. What, what do you make of the first team boys and and how they deal with the B team lads? Um, it was a pleasure to see how they performed and put the 100% into it today. Um, that's what you expect every single time you got first team boys down with, with a lot of experience. But I think today they, they did really well. Uh, but I also have to say the B team boys, they, they, they were good. Um, um, so in general, as a team, I, I noticed that it was it was actually Malmö who who want to to uh, to finish the game um, very early, <laughs> uh, took the time, was not really able to play the game they want. So big big credit to our boys. And in terms of the the fixtures on the horizon for you guys going into that run now must be looking ahead because you've got New York next week. You've then got two cup finals to come. So it's quite an intense period for you guys. It's fantastic. Um, we need to we need to keep keep all the boys warm, uh, and they need to be on it. Uh, th there's a massive competition, and that's what we want because um, it, it, it's it's a good bunch of of, of guys we got here. And uh, if you don't if you don't perform during the week, you can't play the matches. So basically, it's 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 we, we can't ask for more. And yeah, the games, two cup finals, uh, we look forward. We really look forward. Um, so uh, yeah, we're quite satisfied with the with the rest of the season.